Hi guys, welcome back to my channel, Loving Little Learners. Today I am going to show you all how to make your very own Bitmoji classroom. These classrooms are so fun and easy to use, whether you teach pre-K all the way up to high school. And they're especially gonna come in handy when we're all returning back to school to teach in a hybrid model or a fully virtual model. So I'm gonna walk you through all of the steps to make your very own beautiful classroom. So first things first, when you're making a Bitmoji classroom, you need to have made a Bitmoji. So best way to do so is to download the app, Bitmoji app on your um, phone and create your avatar that looks exactly like you. Once you have, you're gonna go ahead and type in Bitmoji Chrome extension onto your um, internet browser. You'll have to be using Google Chrome. Um, and once you're there, you're gonna download the Bitmoji extension. This is gonna make your life so much easier um, because now you'll have access to your Bitmoji no matter what you're doing, whether you're sending an email, working on Seesaw, working in your classroom, whatever it might be, you'll have access to your avatar no matter where you are. So go ahead and download that Bitmoji um, Chrome extension before you get started. Now also, what I this is what my Bitmoji classroom looks like, and I've made it to look exactly like my own personal classroom, um, down to the bulletin board walls, to the cubbies, every single thing. These are the exact chairs that I have in my classroom. So I'm gonna show you exactly how to go ahead and customize your Bitmoji classroom so that it can mirror your own classroom or it could just be your dream classroom that you've never um, even had. So go ahead and follow me along these hacks. The first thing that you're gonna go do is go to Teachers Pay Teachers. They have so many great resources on here already, ready to go. All you have to do is type in Bitmoji in the search bar. So today, I'm going to use this resource that I found that is actually free um, on Teachers Pay Teacher, and they're just templates for your classroom, so you don't even have to start from scratch. This is going to save you so much time, even if you don't like anything within this template, just knowing where your wall should go, where your floor should go, um, is going to be a lifesaver, and it's going to save you so much time. So go ahead and download a template like this on um, Teachers Pay Teachers. There's so many that you can find and start off from. So we're gonna start from one of these. And I've chosen this template here. It's very beautiful, but it honestly looks nothing like my classroom. So I wanna go ahead and change it up a little bit so that it mirrors my own personal classroom a little bit more, or at least mirrors a primary classroom where it's bright and colorful. So the first thing I wanna do is go ahead and change the wall color. I want something really, really bright. So if you're working in Google Slides, you can also work in PowerPoint, which is where I made my original classroom. Um, but you'll go ahead and insert in a shape. You wanna choose a rectangle so you can go ahead and make it long, um, like your classroom wall, and you'll just simply click and drag it over the existing wall here. Once you do, it's gonna be a white wall. You'll go ahead and go to fill color and choose whichever color you would like. I really like bright colors, so I'm gonna go with yellow. Once I have the color wall I want, I'm gonna do this, click on my wall, and go to arrange right here. This arrange tool is the key to creating your classroom. You want to go ahead and bring things into the foreground and the background of your classroom to make it have depth. So this arrange tool is gonna to allow you to do that. You'll simply just send it to the back and it's gonna go, oops, sorry, send it all the way to the back. And it's gonna go behind the uh, original picture that you had. So you're gonna just go back and bring it forward once. So now it's going to be your wall. Okay, the next thing that I wanna change is my rug. I want it to be a little bit more colorful. So I'll go ahead and click and delete this rug that I have here. And all you have to do is go and do a Google search. So let's go ahead and go to Google. And I wanna search for a rainbow class room rug. But once I do that, I'm gonna to go to images and I'm gonna find a rug that I like. So when you're looking for 
or things to put into your Bitmoji classroom, you want to look for items that are already kind of at an angle, that are already showing some depth to them. If you choose something flat like this, it's never going to look right in your classroom. It's going to drive you crazy trying to make it look as though um, it's going back and that you have depth on your floor. So the one that I'm gravitating to is this one here. It's very beautiful, very bright. So all you're going to do is go ahead and right click save image to your computer. And then you're going to use this website that is a lifesaver. It's called remove.bg. All you're going to do is go here and drag in that image that you just saved. And it's going to go ahead and remove the background for you. You don't even have to do anything. If let's say that it didn't remove the background exactly how you would like, you can go ahead and edit and do it manually yourself. But this is perfect. So I'm going to download it and go back to my classroom. And from there, I'm just gonna click and drag it in. So let's go ahead and resize it. So resizing um, this, cl this classroom and the images that you're dropping in are going to be key to make it look how um, you want it. So go ahead and resize it however you need it to let it fit in the space. Um, Another thing that you should think about doing is creating just the basic gray or green or blue, whatever rug that you have that goes underneath your bright, um, colorful rug that you're going to put in your classroom. So basically what I'm going to do now is I'm going to fast forward and go through customizing my Bitmoji classroom how I'd like. And then I'm going to show you how to insert your Bitmoji character into your classroom in different, different ways. So um, once you come back, my classroom is going to be all done. I'm simply just going to Google search for anything that I need and drop it into that remove background um, website. Okay, so I am just about done customizing this Bitmoji classroom. I decided to keep it pretty simple for the sake of time and turn it into a computer lab where students could just go and access all of their computer resources that they may need. So um, let's think. I want to go add a poster that is all about computer rules. So let me go ahead and go open up another Google tab where I'm going to look up classroom computer lab rules. Uh, let's see, this one looks pretty nice. So what I can do, again, save that image and drop it into the remove.bg website. Once it's all, the background's all removed, I'm gonna download it and insert it into my classroom. So resize and arrange are again your friends for making your Bitmoji classroom. Let's say I want it to go here, right above the computer. And um, that's perfect. I can also go ahead and go to format and create a drop shadow just to let it have a little bit more depth in there. Um, these are all little tips and tricks that you can do to make it look more realistic. Um, or you can also go for that cartoon vibe whatever you want. You guys can make your Bitmoji classroom look exactly um, like yours, very realistic, or you can make it look fun and cartoonish, whichever one you gravitate more towards. So I'm going to go ahead and say that this is my final classroom. Again, you can tweak it, add um, as much as you want, or you can keep it very basic. It's, to, it's all preference. So when I'm ready to drop in my own Bitmoji avatar, I'm going to go ahead to my extension app here on the top right, and I'm going to click on it. And you would log into your Bitmoji account that you've created through your phone. And the trick is to type in the word pose. Once you type in the word pose, it's going to bring up your avatar without any words or images around it. So this is just your avatar pointing, sitting, sad, mad, whatever you want. And you can find um, the avatar that you want depending on what you want it to do in your classroom. So let's say I just want my avatar to stand. So here's a perfect standing avatar here. I'm going to click on it and then right click and copy. And I'm going to come back to my classroom and simply just paste it in. 
So I can have my teacher um, Bitmoji avatar right here. And then I can also, if I like have my avatar sitting. So if you go back to that Chrome extension and you type in the word sit, you can find a sitting avatar. So you'll go ahead and copy and paste again. And I'm sitting on some books here, but I'd rather be sitting on the chair. So what I'm gonna do, I'm going to format my options and go through and rotate. So I wanna be flipped horizontally so that I can sit in that chair there. And then I need to resize myself, that's really small, to fit perfectly in this chair here. Okay, so whatever you want, you can have, like I said, have your Bitmoji doing whatever it is that you'd like. I want mine standing, so I'm gonna go ahead and get rid of this one and show you guys how to now make these live links so that your Bitmoji classroom is not just a picture, but actually an active resource for your students. So let's say I want to have my kids get to their Seesaw login page. So what I can go ahead and do is click on this picture here, find the little link icon here, and I will simply just type in the um, link for Seesaw. And once it's there, I go to apply. And now it's a live link that students can press and it will take them to their Seesaw account. You can do the same for Google Classroom, iReady, BrainPop Junior, any single thing that you want your students to access. So that is an option there. Another option for, especially for primary grades, is that you can come here to insert and choose audio. When you choose audio, you have the option to upload a, a video clip or audio clip that you've made that can potentially give directions to your students about what to do when they open up these links. So let's say I want my students to click on iReady, but today I only want them to work on iReady Math. So I can have my little audio clip there right next to my iReady um, computer that is telling them to log into iReady Math today and practice for 20 minutes. So those are all options that you can have um, with your Bitmoji Classroom when you make it an, act an active resource. So let's see, you can have classrooms for everything. Like I said, I have my basic Bitmoji classroom which has my schedule, contact, website, my newsletters, the resources that we use often, um, my small groups, read alouds, things like that. I've also made my mother-in-law a principal's office um, where she can give her staff access to their school's newsletters, their school resource website, their media meeting agendas, and so much more. Everything is so customizable to however you'd like it. I've also created my own Google site account where I have all of our different Bitmoji classrooms listed here. And these are resources that I've gotten from amazing people on Facebook groups. Um, all, I'm active on a bunch of Bitmoji Facebook groups and they have poured in tons of work and tons of time and have just shared these resources for free. All you have to do is go through and customize them um, to include your own Bitmoji classroom. So there's so many opportunities that you can have. Students would simply just click on the different letters of the day and work on um, those resources for my kindergarten class. But like I said, the options are endless and it's very simple to make. You really just have to have a vision in your head and search through Google until you find exactly what it is you want and arrange, arrange, arrange and make it look perfect for you. Um, there is no right way and there is no wrong way. So I plan on using my Bitmoji Classroom, like I said, through our kindergarten website, as well as through Seesaw. Um, and I am looking forward to starting this virtual year and um, really using all of these different resources that I've created. And I hope that this video helps you guys learn how to create it yourself as well as all the different ways that you can use it.